Okay, so you've been set up with a Membean account as a teacher, and your students have been generated, and as well as your classrooms. So you should have just received a welcome email that looks something like this. Uh, this, in this case, the teacher, you are Albus. Um, you teach at Hogwarts Academy, and you've got a school code of HWA. Uh, in your email, you've also got a list of all your students. Uh, each of them has a username that we've generated based on their first name. In this case, we've got Harry and Potter, and school code is HWA. So, you can get all your students to fire up a browser on their laptops or tablets and visit membean.com slash s slash hw hogwarts in this case okay s is just a shorthand abbreviation for schools okay uh, they're going to be using that a lot so they can bookmark it or they can just memorize it it's probably short enough that they can all memorize it and type it each time okay so now harry's going to log in harry potter uh, hogwarts and initially as i showed the password is going to be identical to their username this is a one, good for one login, and we're going to force them to change it. They should change it to something secure and memorable, uh, something that only they will know. No sharing of passwords with uh, fellow students, or even with you or us. Um, they can reset it later if they need to. Oh, okay. Okay, now Harry is successfully logged in. The first thing he's going to do is calibrate. Let's take a quick look at the student dashboard. He's going to be here a lot. You know, it's not populated yet because he hasn't done any training. So calibration is something that happens once ever. So Harry's likely to use Membean for multiple years, but one time, his first day, he's going to calibrate to get in at the right level. We've got five different levels for each training plan. Um, Harry is, I believe, a high schooler in this case. So he's going to have a slightly harder set of words than the middle schoolers. So calibration takes about two to seven minutes. Harry should take his time, uh, be honest with himself, uh, answer to the best of his ability, and this will know if he is overconfident and uh, place him at the at the proper level. Okay. So I'm going to go really quickly through this, and um, now is probably a good time just to tell you a little about bit about Membean's differentiation. Each student is going to be given a, a, a slightly different set of words uh, based on this calibration and they're going to go at their own pace. So eventually uh, students are all going to be seeing different words uh, at different times and answering them uh, correctly or incorrectly. Almost done. And uh, obviously I'm going to be placed at level one because I'm missing everything. But uh, even we've seen plenty of high schoolers, uh, even upperclassmen that end up at level one. And if most of your class is level one, um, they shouldn't feel bad about that. That's fine. They're going to work their way up through thousands of words up to level five over the over their careers with Membean. Okay, so I placed at level one. Uh, the first thing I see is a little description of what a word page looks like. So we've got what word I'm learning, uh, may see a background image. Uh, Membean is pretty self-guided, so students don't need to read a whole lot to know how things work. Um, we try to make it simple. There's usually a big green button for the next thing that they're going to do. So there's just a couple. Uh, you, you can actually read through this a bit. So on your first day with your class, you probably want to spend a good 10 minutes or so just kind of walking them through what you're seeing here. So I'm going to go a little quicker than you'll probably want to. Um, just a few short screens. Uh, with some guidelines, just to show the students that they're controlling their pace. Disentangle. Okay, you just heard the audio for the first word page we've seen. So where does disentangle? Notice that it's an, a brand new word. Um, it's a verb, and we're at level one here. Okay, so we start with a with a page full of what we call memlets, and that's these panels or memlets. Um, you want to note that each of these has a how-to or a help video. So if you want to know why we designed something this way or how best to use it, you can just watch one of these short uh, Learning words from two and a half or so minute videos. So those are on pretty much every memlet. Okay, we've got a memory hook, uh, some example sentences, sometimes quotations. We teach roots. There are trees connected to most of these so they can actually explore how words are connected through their roots. Okay, we've got a word constellation. 
Behind each one of these word pages is a set of uh, varied questions. Uh, they vary in style and difficulty. So Membean is built on a spaced repetition. So when disentangles is answered correctly, it's going to get spaced out farther and farther. So I'll show you an example of that. Let's move on here. So I'm going to go try to move on to the next word. Okay. Now it's not going to let me because I haven't interacted with this page sufficiently. So what I need to do is actually read through this paragraph or listen to it. Um, disentangle is going to show up several times in the paragraph. And then I need to show that I know something about disentangle at this point. Okay. So I'll get it wrong. And I still don't know what disentangle means yet. So um, let's get it right. When you and not, now we're going to see a pretty simple definition. Um, and also a, a, a short version. Uh, we call that the quick glance. Okay, so now we actually can move on. So we spent a couple minutes on that word page. Disentangle. Now I need to spell it. Okay. This just tests that I was paying some attention and that I'm thinking about how this word is put together. Okay, it was properly spelled. Malignant. Now we're on to a new word. This is a, the second word that we're learning. It's also an adjective. Uh, more of the same. We're just going to read through the paragraph, answer a question about it. Okay, and we'll get it right. That which is malignant, like a tumor or hardened I'm, I'm moving a little fast here. We recommend one to three minutes per word page. So kids should take their time. They don't need to absorb everything right now, but they should look at a couple memlets and get a good feel for what the what the word really means. There's we're seeing a video clip here. This is usually about a 30 second clip showing the word in context, either acted out or spoken. Uh, we've got a quote on this one, more constellation. There's a lot of similarity among the word pages. Now we'll move on and we're about to see our first question. Malignant. Okay, let's spell it first. Malig and then Let's spell it wrong, and you can see that it's actually going to correct me. No, Membean is not a spelling tool, but we're just using this to make sure that uh, attention is being paid. Okay, this is our first question. It's a multiple choice. This is a pretty simple style of question. Um, so let's actually, if we get it right, we get to move on. We'll either get another question or a new word page. If we get it wrong, that means we don't know disentangle sufficiently yet. So we're going to go back to it. Disentangle. And we don't want to just acknowledge, oh, I got it wrong, let's move on. This is a time to relearn the word. So the student should spend another minute here, actually, maybe looking at a different memlet, engaging with Membean in a different way. So we can work through the, the word constellation and think about how words are related. There's a lot of different ways to learn a word on Membean, usually seven or more words through the memlets. And then they'll see a lot of different types of questions. Okay, so. We've had our first training session. That was probably about five minutes. Um, we recommend usually a 10 minute session or longer. 15 is a pretty nice amount of time. We expect students to work through Membean for 30 to 50 minutes per week. Uh, and we want that spread out. We do not want a 50 minute session, a cram session. Um, so 10 to 15 minute sessions, three or four times a week, spread them out as much as possible. So a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule is great. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday or Friday and a weekend time is great. If they want to just sneak in a short session uh, at home, maybe a five minute session while they're waiting for somebody to get ready in the morning, that's great too. Uh, Membean is often done at school and also as a homework assignment. So uh, you can either do a nightly assignment or do it in class. There's also assessments, but we'll get, we'll get to those uh, in a later screencast. So let's finish up here. When a session is done, we have a default time uh, that's typically set to 15 minutes. I'm going to time this one out early and just click I'm done. And notice that I was interacting with each of those pages quite a bit. Membean is not going to give students time credit if they're just sitting on a word page and messing around with their phone or finding some talking or, or finding something else to do. So students really have to engage with the site to get credit for their time. Okay, so we're done with our first session. It was five minutes indeed. Uh, I didn't do a lot, I was mostly talking, um, but a typical session you might have answered 20 or more questions and seen a few new words. Okay, this shows us that we, that we saw a couple new words, disentangle and malignant. We can actually go revisit those here if we want, but Membean is really guided training. Uh, so all the student really needs to do is start learning. Uh, each time they log in, they'll just click start learning and Membean 
will guide them through a set of new words and repeated words and uh, varying difficulty of question types. Now there's a couple things Harry has control of. He can set his uh, reset his password or, or add an email if he wants an easier way to do uh, password resetting. Uh, more importantly though, he can change his preferences and you as a teacher can also change all these. So he can, if he's got some memlets that he likes better than others, he can drag them around and, and make that show up first. Um, he can, uh, we've got a, a type of question that is uh, closes or fill in the blanks and we only require them to, to enter the first few letters. You can make it so they have to spell the complete word. Uh, we've got the session timeout that I mentioned is set defaulted to 15. Uh, other reasonable defaults are 10 or 20 minutes. And some students are a little bit stressed out about seeing progress timers. They can disable those. Uh, things are still timed, um, but they won't see that ticking clock. Uh, and if a student uh, doesn't want to be seeing new words, uh, they can set strict memory mode. And again, you can control all this for your students as well. And that's about it for what, what students need to know about Membean. It's self-guided, and they just need to visit at the right times. And you'll need to set expectations for them. So they're going to need to know, if you want them to train four times a week, then that, that that's the expectation that you've set. Okay, let's make sure we've covered everything here. Okay. Now, let me just recap a little bit. Okay. Uh, on expectations, so have them train uh, short sessions frequently. Uh, no cramming. Don't rush through training. They should take their time uh, and focus throughout the session. And when a question is missed, go back and spend a full minute relearning. And also, during training, uh, it's not a time, it's not high stakes training. This is, it's fine to miss a word. Uh, that's how you relearn a word. There's no penalty for getting a question wrong during training. That's when they go back and focus on another memlet. You'll be able to generate assessments for them and they can save their um, higher focused, uh, better scoring time for those assessments. And we'll get to that in another screencast.